Yo, what is up? It is Vice HD here, back with another video. Today in this video, we are unboxing the Brilliant Stars Elite Trainer Box. So, I haven't been posting videos as recently as I would like to be, and that's just because I'm a full-time college student now, so it's hard to do it. So, the only reason I'm doing this video is because I'm on spring break, so I actually have time to do this. But without further ado, let's go ahead and hop right into the video. So, this Lucy box became available to the public because... I've noticed that there's a lot of people that have already got their hands on them, but I just got mine a couple days ago. So here is the box. Very beautiful box. This is my second Elite Trainer box I've ever opened or gotten, so I'm excited to open it up. It has eight Sword and Shield Brilliant Stars booster packs, 65 car sleeves, 45 TCG energy cards, player's guide, a Pokemon TCG rulebook, six damage counter dice, one competition legal flip coin die, two acrylic condition markers, one acrylic V-star marker, a collector's box to organize everything with four dividers to keep it organized, and a code card for Pokemon training card game live. And on the back it has pictured everything that it comes with. Of course the cards inside vary. Alright, so let's go ahead and crack the seal for this box. Go ahead and get into all the good stuff. All right, so here is the box, and we just slide her on. Oh, there's the rule book. Player's guide, my, my bad. And inside here, we have a list of the cards that we hopefully are going to pull, like this Charizard V and Charizard V-Star, which is probably the best card in this pack. So that's what we are going to obviously go for it's got this very i like this pikachu v card as well it's very pretty so lots of cool new cards and it does come with occasionally a placeholder card a v star card let me see if they have that listed in here and i think it's in place of the energy card in some of the packs but not every single one but i mean there's just beautiful cards that can be found in here all right so with that all being said open up the box so inside the box we have this very cool divider of course and we have card game rules dice v star logo help or i i don't know honestly so we have all the energy cards here let's just actually pull that out so of course we have all the packs which i think look absolutely beautiful in my opinion. So we have three, six, eight packs. And then the dividers, very cool. I love the gold on them. Code card, the sleeves which are golden, very pretty. And of course the energy cards which we have a new style of the energy. So it's got a little sparkle on there. All right, so we got all these packs. So of course, I like to do the Charizard packs last, even though I know it's probably no different, but then it makes me feel a little bit better. All right, so we'll do the Charizard last, and then we'll go with this one first. I don't know which Pokemon this is. Still did not learn the names of Pokemon cards, so I found that it might be better off for me to just not attempt to say the name of the Pokemons when I open these up. And just be quiet. So here we go. First pack magic. Alright, so hoping to get one of those V Star replacement cards. So here we go. Oh, look at that. We got one right off the bat. So this takes place of the energy card, but not all packs have them. Okay, so. We'll go for the names. Monferno, Gloria, Starmie, Thor, Thor, I don't know, Shroomish, Piplup, Turtwig, Sneasel, Reverse Hollow Shroomish, and a Holographic Lucario. So that is a pretty decent card, I would say. So we're going to sleeve that up. All right, code card, one, two, three, four, to the front, got an energy card this time. 
the little love tap for good luck. So we have fighting energy, blunder policy, Luxio, Voilo, Burmy, Staru, Fairy. Okay, that is a hit. We have the Vaporeon with the trainer card. So I don't know, I guess these are technically trainer cards. I do know from watching some unboxing videos or card opening videos that there usually is a very rare card behind this because this is in the reverse hollow slot. So there's still a chance of having a double pull. So let's see if we just, no, we're not that lucky, but still this is a good hit right here. Beautiful card. All right, so I am happy with that. Moving on to the next one. Actually, let's go this. So uh, leave in the comments below. I don't know, it might've been the last video I talked about my hair looking horrible in it. So I think it looks better now. Still growing out a little bit. I don't know how much I want to let it grow out, but it is looking a lot better. And that's not the reason why I've not been uploading since I've been busy with school. So just wanted to keep that out there as a disclaimer that I haven't been doing videos because of my hair. It's just because I've been very busy. Reverse holo rare and a non holo rare. We still do have five packs left. So not too concerned. I mean, this trainer card right there. I mean, I'm happy with that already. But I do love the way these packs look. I don't know. This, I like all the white around it. This looks really modern looking. I don't know. This, I think it looks pretty good. Psychic energy, fresh water. So, yeah, I don't know if we're going to pull anything crazy with there only being, what, eight packs. But we'll give it our best as we don't get any. Nope. That was a horrible set. We're down to the last four, so hopefully that was it. The rest are going to be all hits. I mean, that would be nice. Make your money back from this box, but we'll see. One, two, three, four. I don't think we're gonna get any more V-Stars. That'll be, I think, I don't know. I'd rather have those than energies, but whatever. And I just completely did that very wrong and showed all the cards. But, which sucks because I did not show any good cards. Yikes. I mean, holographic, but it's not what we're going for. All right, so one of these left. Then we go on to, to Charizard, which hopefully we'll have a Charizard. And both of them would be nice. Or at least one of them. More realistic. Because if we don't pull anything from this uh, booster box or Elite Trainer Box, then I'm definitely going to have to run to the store and get some individual ones until we pull something good. Because there's a lot of good cards in this new deck. Which, so far, we have not had much luck. We pulled the Vaporeon, which is pretty good. But it's hoping for some more. Not looking like it. So we are down to the two last packs, which are Charizards on the outside. So let's hope there's Charizards on the inside. I want to at least get another V-Star. That was V-Star card. Those are pretty cool. Code card, one, two, three, four. Nope, not in here. This one right here, I'm feeling like it's going to have something good in it. Oh my God, I almost just show them all again. Luxio. I mean, I'll take it. It's my the first V, but I mean, could have been a lot better. But we still we got one pack left, so this last pack better be a double hit. That's all I gotta say right now. There we go. One, two, three. Nope. I guess yep. Only one V star from this box, but that's okay. Oh, what if I had like? few of those or at least two 
but I guess this one will do. I mean, it's rare. I mean, it's no, it's a nice card. I like it. Okay. All right. Um, that hurt a little bit, but it's okay. Oh, that was the last pack. Yep, that's it. No more cards. So I know you all clicked out the video. Don't blame me. But we'll go over the few hits we pulled. So we got SQ and and Tortilla. I'm gonna call it this Tortilla. That's what it looks like. Torterra. And then we have a Hollow Lucario. Hollow. Dusk Nor. And then we have a in Ente. I don't how do you say these names? It's so annoying. Et Ente Ente V. And then we have a Vaporeon, which was in place of the reverse. So this is definitely the best card, which I had a bad feeling this was gonna be our best card, but it's still a good card, so not mad, just disappointed. So yeah guys, hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you want to go get one of these for yourself and hopefully I'll better luck, I'll have it linked below. And yeah, I guess I'm a Pokemon channel now. I mean, it's only been three. I think this is my third video on the channel. And yeah, in regards to posting the next video, who knows? I'm just doing this for fun now. I guess I do have a video class where we do a few projects. So I guess I can make those videos public for you just... So you have something to watch on my channel. But yeah, other than that, I guess I'll see you guys in a month or so. So on to summer break, I guess. So yeah, make sure you guys go check out the merch to help support the channel. Help a broke college boy out. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Bye.